Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Fall armyworms have been on the move the past couple of months and joining us now to talk about it is Tom Royer, our extension entomologist. And Tom, let's just start off with talking about what you're hearing and what you're seeing around the state. Over the last two weeks, I've been hearing a lot of people as they're planting, as they're planting their wheat and canola and as it's coming up, uh, evidence that uh, fall armyworms are eating their plants, in some cases taking out stand. Uh, so uh, we've had fall armyworms here since July in sorghum. Uh, there's a lot of sorghum that was planted this year and, and I think that served as a good uh, nursery for what we're seeing now. Let's talk about the canola field that we're in right now okay. and just your basic observations of what we're seeing versus what it should look like. Well, what I'm seeing is that there's really a sparse plant stand here. Uh, some of the cotyledons are, have already been chewed and some of the plants are being chewed off. So uh, this, isn't, uh, this is not what any canola grower would want to see for a stand. Uh, probably 70% of the stand has been removed already and probably their only options are to possibly replant if they lose too much stand. Canola does have the ability to uh, compensate but you ha uh, for stand, you know, poor stand. But when you're losing 70% of it, that's pretty, that's asking a kind of plant to do a lot. It certainly is. Now, is it worse this year than it has been in the past few years? Oh, I think this is probably the worst fall armyworm year. I've, uh, you know, maybe one of the top two in the 18 years I've been here. So this is a bad one. They came early. Uh, we started seeing fall armyworms coming into Oklahoma in, in late June and July. Uh, and they just, the populations have just con continued to, to grow and increase. Now we have resident uh, moths and resident caterpillars and they're just gonna be here until we get a killing frost. So in terms of what producers need to do, it's important to get out in those fields, both canola and wheat growers, right? Absolutely. They need to be watching right away. And uh, if, they, if they notice in canola, one caterpillar per row foot, treat. Uh, in wheat, one to two caterpillars in canola, treat. And the best treatment that we have, We have a number of options. Um, one of the things that I have been starting to hear from producers is because the plants are so small and there's so much, you know, just bare ground, uh, some of the insecticides that would normally be pretty effective are not as effective right now because there's not a lot of plant to cover. So if a, if a caterpillar is walking across the ground and, and eating it, they're not getting a strong enough dose stomach-wise. They might be picking some up as they're crawling. Uh, but I haven't heard the, the best options. I haven't heard the best outcomes sometimes of control. So I would suggest going with, you know, the top register, the highest registered rate you can uh, when plants are this small. Um, try and use as much gallons as you can because we are experiencing fairly dry weather. And uh, there's a couple of, you know, if, there, if you can find a plant mix or an insecticide mixture of, uh, say, a pyrethroid plus something else, that might be a little better too. It sounds like uh, growers have their work cut out for them oh, they in terms do. of <laughs> battling army and, and it has, you know, it's it started back a long time ago and it hasn't ceased. And it's, I feel really, I feel really bad for producers this year and having to make the management decisions because it's been a tough year to deal with them. Now, when it gets colder, we'll have some relief, right? Definitely, but it takes a killing frost uh, for these caterpillars to, to finally die off and uh, they won't be back until next year and we'll just hope that they don't build up and come up here as fast as they did this year. Okay, Tom, thanks a lot, good advice. And for more information on fall armyworms, we have a new current report out and we'll put a link for you on our website, sunup.okstate.edu.